Let's do an unboxing from Lululemon. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm excited because I decided to grab a bunch of stuff from Lululemon. They just recently came out with um, some really fun new styles and colors, and so I just decided to grab all of it. <laughs> that way I can see what I like in person and I'll return the stuff that um, doesn't work for me. First up, we have the True Identity card case. I love this. I think I gra grabbed this one on sale. Um, I think it was like 20 bucks. Um, looks like it's a really good size. Has a couple of card slots here, um, one on the back, and then you have a zippered pocket here in the middle. Um, I really, really like the colors on this, so I'm really glad about my next item I got um, because I kind of grabbed it to match. Dual pouch wristlet, and I got it in the like same colors. Let me see if it says it on here. It doesn't say the color, but I will be sure to link it down below um, so you guys can go find it, but super cute colors. Look, it's the same. It matches the same. It's like a really pretty pink and corally color. I really like this wristlet. It's a nice thick strap. It's really nice and comfortable. You have one pouch that is more of a round shape. Cute. And then the other pouch is straight across. The straight across one has a zipper that is a metal zipper. And then the other one has a zipper that's just kind of more hidden away. So that's kind of interesting there. Both the pouches are the um, thing that actually has the clip on it. I was wondering that. I was wondering if this piece had the clip or this piece had the clip, but these are the um, these pouches have the clip on there that you attach to the wristlet. So if I wanted to attach this onto that as well, I think I could do it through that little hole there on the zipper pull. Yeah, I'm able to put that on there. There we go. They're all together. Cool. So I'm really excited about that. That's super fun. Just a quick, easy way to keep track of your like small essentials. Um, and I know that there are some really good um, dupes on, or not dupes, lookalikes on um, Amazon. So I'll try and look up the lookalike for that little wristlet as well and link that down below. Okay, next up we have the crossbody camera bag and this is in the canvas um, material. So I've never tried the camera bag before. I've wanted to, but it was kind of waiting until they came out with a color that I liked um, and they came out with this really pretty canvas. Ooh, it's nice and soft. I was nervous about what the material was gonna be like, but this is really nice. It's a nice soft, material you can see um, kind of the canvas woven pattern there it looks almost like super small um, checkered white and a um, like cream almost taupe color the strap feels really nice and soft um, you have a back slip pocket here there's a um, slip pocket in that one there's no um, pockets or organization in here so just the one um, pocket on the inside for organization of that. This seems like it's a good size. It has a metal um, zipper. The zippers are nice and smooth. That feels really nice. It's super cute. I love the logo on there. Um, again, the strap is really nice and soft. I think that's a great little um, crossbody bag. If you want to see any of these bags in like a full review, please let me know down in the comments below. That'll also help me kind of decide what I'm gonna keep and what I'm gonna return. This is another um, crossbody bag that kind of looked intriguing to me. It was new on their website. It's called the Wanderlust Crossbody Bag. Ooh, cool. I like the color of it. It's just a really nice kind of um, khaki color and it has this buckle detail here on the front. Let me just take this off so we can see that a little better. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a plastic buckle. It's actually like a metal um, buckle there. That looks a little bit nicer. It matches the logo on the front. So you have a buckle detail there. You do have a slip pocket here in the back. Yeah, fits in there perfectly. This is the iPhone um, 14 Pro. Now this strap is thicker, wider than the camera strap. Let me show you the difference here. And they're also made of a different material. This one's more like a soft, um, cottony almost material. And then this one is a nylon, almost like seat belt material. This Wanderlust crossbody is definitely more of like a khaki. You can see the difference in the colors there. This is really cute. So opening this up, oh, I see. Okay, so this is just to a front slip pocket. So that's also great for your phone. Um, and then the main portion of the bag is actually here on the top with this metal zipper. And then on the inside, it looks like you have a back um, zippered pocket and then you also have a slip pocket here that is a um, mesh pocket. 
Anyways, that's a really cool look. Um, I really like the material. It feels like nice and wipeable. It kind of has a fun, sporty vibe to it. So that is the Wanderlust crossbody bag. I also liked what the um, the look of the Wanderlust not crossbody Wanderlust backpack looked like, except for there was two side bottle pockets that like really bumped out far. I didn't love the look of that, but I liked the rest of the backpack, so I wish they didn't have those um, side pockets that really were extreme on the outside of the bag. I did grab a different backpack though. This is the new crew backpack. Um, okay, I love this color. Ash gray, I think is what it's called. So right here in the window, it's a really nice, um, just like true gray color, but sometimes it almost has like a green gray look. I think I'm really gonna like this backpack. Uh, it has a zippered pocket here. I like the um, that the zipper pull is this really cute tether with the carabiner on the end. The zippers are actually a plastic zipper with more of like a thicker, chunky zipper, which that's great. Um, inside of this front pocket, um, no organization inside of there. And then the side pockets, those look like they're nice and roomy. Oh, on the back, you can see it gives it a little bit of stretch because it has this fabric here, so it kind of stretches for that pocket. You do have this um, hardware here so that you can put a bottle there and wrap this around and that'll easily like hold a water bottle on the side. And then um, the top grab handle and the backpack straps are actually like a very different material than I was thinking they'd be. They're more of like a seatbelt material with some padding on the inside of them. So um, yeah, really nice and comfortable. Let me show you that up close. There is the top, there's the backpack straps. You also have a luggage sleeve back here. Um, oh, cool. So there's a section here for a laptop specifically. Um, it just goes right there at the very top. Nice, um, smooth zipper. I really like the color of the hardware. You can see it's like a gunmetal. And then on the inside, the zipper goes down all the way to the top of the pocket. And then on the inside, you've got um, two slip pockets here. And then on the other side, one big slip pocket right here that goes like halfway down the bag. Again, this only goes about halfway for those two pockets as well. Some good organization. Uh, I like this backpack. I hope they come out with this one in more colors because um, there was one, there was a really pretty blue color that I liked in the other, I think it's like the everyday backpack, but I really liked that this one had more like pockets and features to work with. Um, the everyday backpack was pretty simple. It was just an open space. So between the two, I think I like um, this backpack a little bit better. So that is the new crew backpack. Okay, I'm very excited about these. This is the two-tone um, canvas tote. I have it in both the mini size and the full size because I couldn't decide um, which one I would like more. Ooh, it's the soft, it is the soft material for the handles and for the messenger strap. This one actually comes with a messenger strap so you can wear this just like over the crook of your arm or um, just with the grab handles here and then you do have the option to wear it across your body. And again, nice, soft, comfy strap. You have a slip pocket here in the front. I don't think this would fit your phone. Oh, actually, I mean, kind of, it sticks up a little bit. And then on the inside, oh cool. Okay, so for the closure, it's actually um, like a button closure there. So that snaps together. And then on the inside, you have the Lululemon logo there with a zipper in the back. It's kind of hard to tell because it is a black interior. Um, I think that's gonna be okay for this size of bag. I think that's the black interior is gonna be harder to see for the bigger bag, but we will see in just a second. So, and then there's a slip pocket here on this side. Um, it's actually, it looks like it's gonna be pretty roomy. I'm excited to pack this up and see what fits in here. If you guys wanna see a comparison video between these two bags, let me know and I can um, pack them up and kind of do a comparison between the two. For the larger size, this is the only way to carry the bag. Um, so, oh, but this one does have like side pockets on the inside and it has two pockets on one side, your zippered pocket, and then you have like bigger side pockets here that the small one does not have. It's the same way to close it, the little like button closure there. And then you do still have a pocket here on the front. And let me see if these tote handles are long enough since this is the only way to carry it. 
Um, yeah, I think they are long enough. These are really cute, like structured bags. I really like the pattern. Let me show you up close. It's super cute. You do have like a little um, D-ring here on the front of both of them. I ended up grabbing this pouch to go on the front. This one is called the Clippable Nano Pouch and I got it in black. Super cute pouch. There's the O-ring on the back. That's the way that you attach it. So that is what the nano pouch looks like on the outside of the bag. Really cute. Um, good place to put like earbuds or smaller things like that. You do have a like slip pocket on the back and then on the inside, you actually have a little slip pocket on the inside as well. So this is actually a really good um, amount of space. You could put like lip stuff in here, probably like hand sanitizer and a few things would fit. It's big enough that you can fit um, more than one item. So really like that on the outside, especially of this bigger one. Okay, next up, this was very intriguing. Um, this is called the pleated shoulder bag and I grabbed it in this really fun purple color. I've been really into this kind of bag style lately that's just kind of like a hobo style. Throw it all in, throw it over your shoulder and go. Ooh, this material is very interesting. It's like a wipeable material. You can see it has some really cool pleating there with the way they've sewn it. Ooh. Okay, so on this side you actually have a zippered pocket. Let me pull out this cardboard here. That's a really big pocket. That goes all the way across the front. So really nice big pocket there. The strap that's on the top is kind of like a stretchy fabric and it's kind of ribbed there. Um, really nice and comfortable. It's a good drop length. I really like the color. I think the light purple is super fun. Um, they did have other colors on their website. Here's what the zipper pulls look like. It is a chunky plastic zipper. It's a double zipper, so that's great. And then the inside is um, black. I wish it was a lighter interior, um, but the back has a zippered pocket and then the front wall has two slip pockets on this side. Cool, that's a really cute, um, unique style I haven't seen from them before. But again, like I said, it's one of those you just throw it all in, throw it over your shoulder and go. And I really like that front um, pocket right there on the side and it's kind of hidden with the pleat there. Okay, the last one I have to share is called the Daily Multi Pocket Tote. I love the color. I thought it was gonna be more blue. It seemed like it was more blue um, online, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised that it has more green in it. So it's a really pretty, true, like blue green teal color. This has the same button closure that those other bags had. Um, and I thought that I would really like this because it could fit all the things for um, my kids and it's super nice and lightweight. So you have a pocket on this side that kind of wraps from the front to the back and that's the same on both sides. And then you have a back slip pocket as well. These tote handles are more sturdy than I thought they were gonna be. The back side of them is a nylon material and the front side is just like the normal kind of wipeable material that you're getting on the outside of this bag. There is not much going on on the inside, but I do like that it's not um, super dark. If you get this bag in black, it will be dark. But you do have one slip pocket here to work with. So most of your pockets that you're gonna get from this bag are gonna be on the outside, and then your one pocket is on the inside. Again, love this color, it's super pretty. I think it's a good size, and yeah, it's a good drop length too. So that is my haul from Lululemon. If you guys wanna see any of these bags in particular, or um, I am planning to do a comparison between these two, so if that's what you're interested in seeing, let me know down in the comments below. Dang, it's gonna be hard to choose what to keep, but I definitely cannot keep all of it, so help me decide what to keep down in the comments below. Thank you for joining me for this fun unboxing, and I will see you guys very soon for my next one.